kind of the intro of somebody, but I forget who. It, like, loads the disc at that timing. What's up, peoples? It's a Terraformer playing Super Mario Brothers for the Famicom Floppy. And today we'll be actually playing the game, which should seem a lot easier than trying to glitch it. Let's be honest here. I'm gonna make short work of these two levels, hopefully, or something crazy might happen, like dying in the first level, as the first level, as the first video showed. So we have these little warp stations or something, I don't know. They're just little bonus places that I'm going to be trying to avoid to show off the levels in their full glory which I find probably people don't do anymore because they know of all the secrets because they've been playing this game for 20 years or something. I don't know. It, the, yeah, once, once the All-Stars came out, I played that a lot, and then I just moved on to other games. I just I never got very used to the physics, you know? The physics of the stiffness variety. Also, haven't played much of Doki Doki in the form that I always knew it as. Um, I think, actually, I don't know. I feel like later on I did have it for the nest, but I'm pretty sure I first played it on the All-Stars. I didn't even know they had a sequel. I just went right to three. I am so glad I don't have to do anything different <laughs> over there. Yeah, because three was the most closest to the, um the sequel of the game, and yes, it, it's, a, it's the only NES Mario game that I've actually beaten. And of course we have Super Mario Bros. 2, aka Lost Levels, as most people know it as, oh, the conspiracy of the real sequel to Mario Bros. I just jumped into a pit, by the way. I usually die by 1-3 at least once, and because I didn't play, I didn't play World 1-1 legitimately, I don't have my free life that I would have had there. So that's wonderful tastic. Like, is it a timing thing? Because I know in, by the sequel, you have to do jumps on top of enemies to get places, and I'm really glad they didn't invent the power-up goes places differently depending on your position of the block until episode 3 because that kind of is a nuisance sometimes when you don't pay enough attention when you're just hitting blocks, man. I don't know, I just gotta play type thing. Yes, I, like, the momentum just, it fears me. I start careening off a jump and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta stop. And I press the button in reverse very quickly. So yeah. We're already on to 1-4, and I am going, uh, oh, yes, the hard mode bars are not here yet, because this is not the, the two, the what, what's it, uh, second quest, as they called it in the nest days, where in order to fill in the gap of more content, they would have the same game, but like with more harder situations and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna survive here because usually I just deboost. <laughs> I know, it's sad, I know. <laughs> I know, I'm bad at this game. I'm going to die here too. Like I'm literally going to game over on world one. There's no way I can get that one up, and also, that that's unfortunate. So is it the fear of the physics that's holding me back, or am I just really bad at the game? Like, I know I'm just really bad at the game, but, <laughs> like, is that why I'm bad? Everything if I'm not knowing the levels. Yeah. What am I doing? <sighs> like it kind of depends on where it spawns on screen and stuff. I don't know. 
That would have been nice to have a power up entering this stage because I can hardly get the one in the stage. Like, I, what, how, why can I not do this? This is so sad. This is so sad. Well, at least I survived, like, <laughs> come on, if I died to that again, really, that would be sad.